Hi, everybody. Old Dynamite here, the maniacal maestro of the microphone and the voice of AKA American Combat Alliance. We're here live tonight at the Paragon Casino in Marksville, Louisiana, as we're gearing up for AKA 35. We've got two championships to be decided tonight. The first of the two will be our amateur flyweight championship. And standing next to me is one of the young men that'll be vying for that title tonight inside the AKA cage, representing the PBA hard hitters, the one and only Jordan Mays. Jordan, how you feeling? Tonight, bud. Man, I'm feeling good, ready to go, cool, calm, collected. Now, Jordan, you've no stranger to the Paragon here. You've been inside the AKA cage. You fought in this room. Man, you had a very, very emotional win your last time here. Now the emotions are high again. You get one of your first title shots. How are you prepared mentally for this fight, dealing with all of that? Man, I, I live in these pressure moments, man. You know, pressure bust pipes, but not for me, man. I'm, I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm collected, and I'm ready to do whatever I got to do. I'm going to listen to my guys over there, and whatever they say do, I'm going to operate through them. Now, is there anything special y'all worked on in the gym back in uh, Plaquemine over there at PBA Hard Hitters to get you ready for this championship opportunity? Just not getting too emotional in the fight. Just, just making sure I'm making all the right movements, being technically correct, and uh, you know, not getting lost in all the emotion and all the big moments. In a perfect world, if you could script this fight out, where would you like to see it stay? Oh, on the on the feet for sure. But uh, I'm ready to go wherever, wherever it's got to go. I'm gonna get back to the feet, and uh, we're gonna make it happen. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Later on tonight, the AKA Amateur Flyweight Championship will be up for grabs. Jordan Mays is locked, cocked, and ready to rock here at the Paragon Casino for AKA 35. Back here with you one more time. Standing next to me is the other challenger tonight for the AKA Flyweight Championship here live from the beautiful Paragon Casino in Marksville, Louisiana at AKA 35. Darian Hayes representing the Global Fitness Center right here in Alexandria, Louisiana. So, Darian, you're stepping and inside the AKH cage tonight, just about 25, 30 miles from your home, in front of your hometown audience, and you're vying for that AKA gold belt. How does that feel? Oh, it feels great. I'm ready to put on a show for my fans and all my family members who's coming to support me and just show the world that what me and my gym came and put together. And speaking of your gym, I mean, you come from a whole group of killers over there, Coach Alan Gray and all your teammates at Global Fitness Center. You guys are always in shape, always ready when you step inside the cage. Have you had much time to research and watch a little film and learn about your opponent, Jordan, to get prepared for this fight? Oh, yes, sir. Since uh, I knew I was fighting, we uh, started film watching, finding weaknesses, putting a game plan together, and we're exe going to execute it tonight. Well, let's state the obvious. Jordan's got you by a couple inches on height, and we see he's got a little bit of a reach advantage of you on that. Do you have a game plan to maybe get to close that distance and get inside of that reach of a prolific striker like Jordan? All right, I definitely have a game plan, but I want you guys to come and watch to find out what it is. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's G14 classified. You're going to find out the game plan for Darian Hayes a little later on tonight when he steps inside the AKA cage to vie for the flyweight championship here at AKA 35, live from the beautiful Paragon Casino in Marksville, Louisiana. Gold on the line, glory on the line. Mays and Hayes, here we go. Darian Hayes sold some tickets. This fight is going to take place at the end of that jab. It's Ooh. always interesting to see as the fight, as the night progresses, we, we see a slower pace to start sure. these fights, a little bit more measured in uh, their approach as, as the night goes on. This jab from Darian Hayes comes right back down the pipe. Jordan pumps his out. Ooh, nice body kick. Kick there. Big Good straight shot right from Mays. Hand from Mays. Nice shot. Hayes just kind of watch, watch that one. Hit him right on the brow. The finer's looking very measured here early on. Darian Hayes would do well to continue uh, hacking at that leg, finding opportunities to kick. Mm. He's doing a good job so far setting up those those kicks and we've seen what a good uh, battered leg kick over time can do. He's just doing a good job parrying the jab. Jordan Hayes went for a high kick of his own. Stumbles a bit off of it. Went over the head of Hayes. You gotta be careful kicking too high. People don't talk about that as much. <laughs> well and Mays is so long yeah. for this weight class. 
and you get turned around and that split second can be an opportunity for your opponent to take your back. Just want to be a little more careful there. May's leaving himself somewhat susceptible for that low kick because he's really active with that jab and the way he's turning his hip and turning that jab over, it's, it's leaving that leg in a position where it can get kicked. Definitely seeing, seeing some bruising emerge on his leg. See, there damn. it is again. Beautiful stuff. Parries the jab, comes back with a low kick. And again, uh, Jordan, Hay Jordan May is just beat by alignment just because he's focusing on turning that jab of a big cross right there, though. That was sharp and fast. Hayes would do well to string together the combinations, try to cover some distance. I think he'll definitely have the advantage in the grappling exchanges. I'm curious to see if Hayes takes it there at some point. And cross cut is coming close. Darian doing a good job of being just right at the end of it, but you saw Mays kind of lift his leg right there to check the kick and was in position to get it done correctly. There it is. It's exactly what Darian Hayes needed. Was I'm sorry, Darian. Darian Hayes, that's correct. <laughs> Somebody with, whose name ends with A's is going to win this fight, yeah, I promise right. you. <laughs> and it wasn't like he was doing bad on his feet. Of course, Mays has that, oh, wow. Forget it, still amateur rounds, even as a championship. You know, Mays has that, I was going to say, Mays has that reach advantage. But Hayes was still doing a good job landing, landing those kicks, landing those shots. And he waited for the perfect time. He, he didn't rush it, but he, he took the time off of that kick to go for the takedown. Yeah, Hayes, Hayes doing a good job of mixing his techniques, using the full gamut and tool set. Uh, Stringing together the low kicks, uh, putting together a level change there at the end. And that's where the fight is going to be best for him. It's him stringing together, making it a mixed martial arts fight. Whereas Jordan Mays would prefer if it just stayed as a striking battle. So I will say Darian Hayes has done a good job of just mixing it up, keeping Jordan Mays off balance a little bit, able to find those low kicks and uh, really have some success. Jordan Mays getting ever so close with that cross, though. Every time he extends it out there, yeah. it seems like, yeah. Ee. As as we can see on the replay, you know, he he definitely he just barely landed it. If he was just like a, a a little bit closer, and you know, it really would have stunned his opponent a little more. But you know, wasn't a a super. Oh. I would have to say that I'd give the round to Hayes, but it wasn't by much. Sure, it was a very close round there. We move into round number two. Jordan Mays having some good moments, and like I said, I think it's that cross that's gonna get it done for Jordan Mays. He really needs to line that thing up, feint, feint his jab. There's that low kick again from Darren Hayes. I expect another takedown attempt from Hayes, and there it is pretty quickly. <laughs> Yeah, look, he's got the advantage here, and when you have an advantage in a, yeah. a certain area, you just you attack Absolutely. it, right? And, and like I said, Mays in the past, he's shown a little progression, but you can just see by the way his, he reacts and the way his body lands, he's still not logging those grappling rounds. He's still not moving through these positions the way that he needs to. Uh, Hayes Hayes just Hayes worked his way up like an anaconda, yeah. and now he's in full mount. He has a clear-cut advantage in the grappling department. For sure. And you don't you don't want to waste too much time in these amateur rounds where you only have three minutes to work. You know, That's a good point. You, you don't want to waste too much time, and then you end up taking your opponent down and not having enough time to do anything with it. So Darian really in control here. Great binding the legs of Jordan Mays, making it very difficult for him to squirm, hip, shrimp, or do anything. Jordan Mays needs to flatten the leg out. He can't allow uh, Darian to, to grapevine him and keep him all looped up like that. Yeah, he's got to straighten flat. his legs, look to look, get those free, scoot his butt to the cage well, if he can, to stand. If he can flatten one leg out, he can push He can push towards that leg and maybe right. reestablish half guard, find his underhook build up, right. you know, sequences that we've seen play out throughout the night. Yeah, right but, now he's not doing a whole lot but surviving really not offering up much and, and that's what I mean you know I think this kid is talented and you can tell he's physical and he's long and he's got a great build but uh, he, he's got to learn how you know we have to have mount escapes we have to know how to break these positions down at the fundamental level that way we know how to not only hold them but how to escape these positions right now he's just flat back Alan calling for those punches May's looking to wrap with the legs is it's harder than it looks. 
The old white belt leg wrap. <laughs> yeah. Good fight IQ from Hayes, looking to post his opponent's head against the cage. You know, that really cuts back on what, what you can do movement-wise when your head is cranked up against the cage. Absolutely. And, you know, with 20 seconds left, he needs to look to do, to do damage. He could end the fight here. Coach reminded me he's got 15 seconds to do what he wants. Great way to finish off this second round for Darian Hayes. And Jordan Mays will survive the oh, round. No, I think they're calling the fight. Oh, game. no, he's oh, not. Wow. That's the end of it. That's it. Justifiably wow. so. Yeah, it just. Wow. Wow. I'm not sure what the refs saw. It's the end of it. But I definitely gave that round to Hayes. Wow. Dominant second round. Right at the buzzer, if you will, at the end of the second round, Darian Hayes finishes off Jordan Mays, and we have a new flyaway champion. I mean, great effort, really dominant second round there by Darian Hayes, and he smelled blood at the end and was able to capitalize. Yeah. And Darian Hayes uh, looked, looked the part too, had some great striking exchanges. You would think that Jordan Mays with the length and the height and, and the boxing uh, chops that he would have all the advantages on the feet, but Darian Hayes holding his own, finding his low kicks, finding his moments, ultimately finding the takedown, dominating the grappling exchanges, getting the W. Beautiful, beautiful performance. There was a real clean right that made its way through whenever he was firing Ladies those bombs. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stoppage to the action. At the absolute end of round number two, declaring your winner by TKO, and new AKA Amateur Flyweight Champion, the icon, Terry Hayes. Great work by Hayes, and even if that goes to a third round, you're probably going to see more of the same. He knew what the game plan was, and he executed it there in the second. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff, Darian Hayes. Certainly showed up prepared, put on a great performance tonight. And now he'll talk to Victoria in just a moment. Our new flyweight champion gets it done at the end of round two. I know you're on cloud nine right now with this belt around your waist. You put on an excellent performance. Once you got him to the ground, did you know that you were going to be able to finish it there in round two? Uh, I had the mindset of just going out and riding all three rounds. That's the cardio that we got my team put in when I found out I had to fight. So I was totally prepared to go all three rounds. But I decided, you know, I'm a dedicated, I'm fighting for the belt, so let's go all in. Well, you definitely put on a, an impressive display of ground control. I know you've got a, a great team behind you. Who would you like to give a shout out to? First off, I want to give a shout out to God. Without him, we wouldn't be here. I want to shout out to my team, coach. I did a lot of work with David Bosnick, Justin Roberts, who couldn't be here today. But it goes out to the whole team. I couldn't do this without my team. Well, congratulations again. Congratulations on the belt. One more time, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Darian Hayes. A nearly flawless performance by Darian Hayes. Kind of felt things out in that first round, avoided, eluded the bombs that Mays was throwing at him, and then took over the fight in the second round and just complete work from him in the end.